Arizona, there has to be two fucking uh, cowboys from there. <laughs> Sorry, cowboy Americans. Um, <laughs> what's happening? Hell yeah! I got a lot of hot chicks, I like you, because when you're laughing for booby shake, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. <laughs> Out once bigger than another. I'm gonna numb them. Numb, 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 numb. Her guy's gonna beat me up. Okay. Fantastic. He doesn't tell any jokes. <laughs> I'm, I am. I'm happy to be here. Uh, I just moved in with my girlfriend. <laughs> so I'm happy to be anywhere. Um, Yeah, I moved in with my girlfriend because evidently I like arguing so much. I was like, why don't I go full time? <laughs> oh. She's Jewish, huh? Any Jews in the crowd? <laughs> Liar. <laughs> She's Jew and uh, I met her family recently. That's that's always a weird thing, you know what I mean? Meeting the family and seeing them and knowing that they're not, you know, going to heaven. Um, <laughs> I'm just serious. Uh, <laughs> oh man, we've been together for a while though, you know. And, and the longer you're with somebody, it, it, things change. You know what I mean? It's not always good, not always bad, but things change. Thing I noticed most of all, I'll tell you, surprises. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. At the beginning of a relationship, you know, a girl comes in, she's like, I got a surprise for you. That's a fucking surprise, right? Because you don't know what it's going to be. You know, it's, it's like, you're going to know each other. It could be anything. You know, like, sexy negligee, a blowjob. You know? yeah. Who knows, right? That's a surprise. <laughs> After three years, my girlfriend comes in, she's like, I got a surprise for you. I shaved my leg tonight. Oh, fuck yourself! <laughs> That's not a surprise! That's shit you're supposed to do! Look, I got a surprise for you. I took a shower. Put some deodorant on. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> How the thing it changes, huh? How about fantasies, huh? Fantasies kind of get a little different uh, along your with, to get, uh, with, with together, with together? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Long, along you're with somebody, you know, like, at the beginning of a relationship, might be like two chicks at the same time. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> now that just seems annoying as fuck. <laughs> Why the fuck would I want to have two girls pissed off at me? I'll tell you what my fantasy is now, huh? I just want to have the TV remote for an hour. I just, for one hour, don't want to watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians. As a grown-ass man, I shouldn't be saying things like, I think Chloe's my favorite Kardashian girl. What the fuck am I saying? I caught myself watching Chloe Lamar, that horrible show when it was on. Yeah, because in my head, I was like, Lamar Owen was on it, so it's like I'm watching sports. I, uh, I'm from uh, I'm from originally Arizona, and uh, the last time I was out here was for yeah, uh, she is too, evidently. Um, <laughs> last time I was down here was for the holidays, and it's so funny. Like the holidays are so much different now that you're older. You know, when you were younger, the holidays it was like they never got here. It took forever, especially Christmas. That was a big daddy mom. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like Christmas is coming. Christmas is almost here. It's next month. It's next week. Now you're older, you know? You're like, Christmas is coming. Shit! Was it here last year? Gift cards! Fucking nachos, hell oh, yeah. It's, it's funny though, you know, you know there's the one, at least for me, the, the one thing that makes you realize, oh crap, it's the holiday time again, when there's more men in the Bath and Body Works store than there are women. Always oh, standing around like a prisoner's first day in jail, and you're like, what are you in for? I don't know, cucumber melon? What the fuck is that? All I can find is 
sweet pea. That's brilliant. That was for the ladies. That was for the ladies. I got that. Sweet pea is my favorite preference. We got fell in him. There's a baby in them. It's kicking. Check it out. There's twins. Hell of a trip. Hell of a One random person in the very back. It's like, okay. <laughs> I'm so ADD. But... So that's cool. I uh... so I got to see my family when I came back, and uh, that's that's always the treat. But it's always funny. Like I can see my mom. My mom does the mom thing. She's like, why don't you go back to school and get a backup job just in case the comedy doesn't work out? I'm like, <laughs> thanks for being supportive. <laughs> like I was never good at school, people like, look at me, I'm an idiot, you know, if I had to pick a subject that was like worse, probably math, you know, and it wasn't because of geometry or calculus, it was because of general fucking math. <laughs> general about those story problems, those freaking story problems, like, bus A is traveling at 30 miles an hour, bus B is traveling at 60 miles an hour, what is bus B's bus driver's name, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Problem, even wants me to have me admire in life. You know, something like, Mark Fry's drank 12 beers. <laughs> Sally is 300 pounds. <laughs> How many more beers does Mark have to drink? <laughs> Think you know I'm going with this. To trick question, he would do it sober. Come on! <laughs> he was hard for his money. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Got to see my sister. Uh, that's always a treat for me because uh, everybody has that relative that when you see that relative, you get a new story. Uh, that's my sister because my sister, here it comes, is a bodybuilder. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God, you know what it's like every time you see your little sister, she does something like stretch or yawn, just shit just starts popping out everywhere, I'm like what the fuck is that? She's like, it's a muscle, I'm like, why do I have one of those? Because you're a bitch. <laughs> <sighs> She's got more veins in her neck than I have a whole penis. <laughs> All I'm saying to the guys in the room is if my sister wants to have sex with you, she's gonna have sex with you. <laughs> She'll probably use her dick. <laughs> she was laying a baby, huh? Yeah. I'm an uncle. That's fucking scary. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, she had a baby, and it was uh, it was actually just a huge bicep that came out of her vagina. Just a huge bicep. It was actually twins. A Nordic track followed it. <laughs> that was a new joke. Never doing it again. Okay. <laughs> Never gonna do it. You guys are great. You know what you like. Like, ha ha ha. Not fine. <laughs> I, uh, I think I smoked too much pot. Got that going for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you too, Garth? You get a little high, go moose scoot. Moose scoot, moose scoot. Get down and throw it around. I know. Fucking hey. Puff, puff, kid. No, I'm Brooks and Dunn, bro. No, I, uh, I, you know you smoke too much pot when you watch a robot chicken like it's the news. <laughs> the big one though, like it made me realize I need to stop smoking or at least slow down the P.O.T., you know me. Uh, I was cooking food, 
And when you're cooking food and you're a little bit high even, you're like, let's do this, right? Like, you can be making anything, right? You can be making a shit sandwich. You're like, let's eat some food, man! Enjoy your nachos. Um, it's just like, let's do this. I'm getting all the tools I need. Like, I, that's how I roll. I'm getting the fucking everything. NBD, no big deal. That's how gangster I am. Got an oven mitt, because, you know, I'm, I'm a ginger. Don't want to burn because I'm very easy. <laughs> Put my hand in the oven. Hand in the oven. Pulled out a bag of weed. <laughs> right? That's not an oven mitt. That's a pothole. God damn it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> If you didn't get that joke, you should probably go smoke some goddamn pot. <laughs> Found out what happiness is. Mm -hmm. Everybody in here, you got your own little bit of happiness, you know? It doesn't matter who you are, man, woman, you know, race, religion. You know, that's what brings us together, you know? Found out my happiness was 2 30 in the morning when I was. Don't knock my ass. <laughs> Not only did I find out this delivery place was until 6 in the morning. <laughs> but they delivered cake. <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> what? <laughs> Come with me. He's like, I'm a delivery guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, dude, you want some cake? He's like, motherfucker, yeah! <laughs> Do the rundown. This guy comes, delivers some cake, gets high, eats a cake, and just delivers. <laughs> That's not my happy place, it's his. So I got a new job, for motherfucking cake. <laughs> make it rain, make it rain, make it motherfucking rain. <laughs> Fuck it, eh? It's great. I mentioned I, I lived with my girlfriend, and uh, she wasn't the first girl that I lived with. I, I lived with uh, this girl before. She was, you know, just a roommate. No, uh, you know, bang. Um, <laughs> but she was crazy. And, uh, and like, I walk in, uh, like, I came home one day, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. She's in a room having sex loud, right? And I'm like, uh, you know, whatever, you close your door, that's your business, right? But I'm in the room, TV's up all the way, I can still hear her! I'm like, fucking shit, man, I don't have time to masturbate right now. <laughs> but I did, but I did. <laughs> with that hand, with that hand. <laughs> you gotta know when to hold them. Know when to hold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. I, uh... <laughs> had sex in the shower recently. <laughs> Just bragging. <laughs> so, it's whenever I say that to women that get excited. You know, it's like, even if they haven't had sex in the shower, they want to. They're just like, oh my gosh, it's so romantic. It's like the movies. <laughs> no, the fuck it's not. <laughs> and I know what you're talking about, but I've seen those movies. So at 3 o'clock in the morning, the guy's just pounding against the glass. She's just sprawling against the glass like one of those Garfield suction cup things. <laughs> so romantic. No, it's not. Take me, for example. I'm 6'4". I don't fit in normal fucking places. It's not like the movies, ladies. Well, I'm saying most of the time it's like, yeah, I got some in my eyes. You're on my foot. Son of a bitch. I just came. <laughs> Plus, I got those floaties on. <laughs> Inner tube. It's an awkward situation. <sighs> Don't think the girl, uh, any guys have been with the question girl? Huh? Come on. <laughs> This is the girl, you're down there going, doing your thing, or you're, you're, you're in your moment, you know? You're, she's down there going, what do you want? 
What do you like? What? He's like, what? I just want you to shut the fuck up so I can fuck you! This is my move, my only move. This is the face I make because I'm surprised. there, partner. <laughs> really starting to burn. All I'm saying, ladies, is if you're enjoying the ride, if you're not enjoying the ride, just <laughs> take the key, throw it away. Don't say anything. Because we as men don't know what to say back. After a while, we're going to start to fuck with you. We're just going to stand there, what do you want? What do you like? We're like... <laughs> Midgets. <laughs> Clowns. Let's start a circus home. <laughs> it's not even pleasurable for us after a while because we're just trying to prolong the experience so you girls don't talk shit to your friends. <laughs> so we're thinking of anything that's remotely the opposite of sex. We're just like, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go get my groceries, uh, grocery list, uh, uh, the lunch feeds, uh, <laughs> A uh, mayonnaise? Oh, God. Uh, 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 Starting live with Phoenix Suns. Uh, uh, Gordon Dragic. Uh, Chinese Fry. Uh, uh, Barbosa. No, he's on the bench. He's injured. Uh, the whole time you're down there going, Why are you taking so long? What do you want from me? I'm only one man. So that's, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. My, uh, my girlfriend, uh, she's funny. She gave me a, she, she gave me a CD recently, okay? Gave me a CD. CD, motherfucker. I'm like, how do you transition to it? Uh, she, handwritten on it says, good fucking songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Made me a sex mix player. Yes! That's awesome, right? That's a very exciting point in a man's life. At least for me. <laughs> and then things get hot and heavy. You know, we start putting some, doing shit, and like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know what the fuck. I was just standing there. Uh, I'm like, let's put this motherfucker in. You know? So we're, I'm, I'm listening to it, it's like ACDC, Back in Black, <laughs> fucking Billy Joel, Piano Man, <laughs> Hook, Blues Traveler? I'm like, what the fuck kind of sex fix is this, baby? She said, who said anything about a sex fix? These are just good fucking songs! <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you know what it's like to try to have sex to Blues Traveler? <laughs> The home brings you back All oh, that you can rely So I can take a rent a tin rattling And get some good wrestling And then begin to see what you're doing to me this time It's not for free That's all I know if you said I come um, <laughs> so, uh, Okay Alright Early departure <laughs> One thing, uh, 
One thing I do love about having a girlfriend, and uh, some of you couples in here uh, can, can vouch, uh, I don't have to do my biggest pet peeve anymore, which is uh, picking up condoms. I hate it, I, and I get, don't get me wrong, like I get it every time you buy a condom, it's usually followed by something good, and glorious, and happy, and rainbows, and all that shit. I get it, but I hate it because they're all geared towards you women. Ultra pleasure for her. Ultra pleasure for her. Fuck that. <laughs> Who's last ultra pleasure condom was built for a fucking guy? They don't have them. They don't have them. If they did, what would it be like? Maybe, maybe you put it on and it feels like you're having sex with a different girl? <laughs> There's not a con of there.